Hello one, hello all, and welcome to yet another episode of Dread Tidings. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you very much. I'm okay. Um, yeah, um, there has been a bit of a trend lately for the old box O stuff. Um, loot crates uh, and the other ones as well. There's loads of them, there's too many to count, so I'm not even going to bother. I decided not to go down the loot crate road basically because i'm not a fan i've got to say i've been watching uh, Stuart ashen's videos on them and it's not stuff i want basically it's not stuff i i would ever want to have or to you know have anything to do with particularly so i decided to go down a different route and i have got one from superhero stuff because they like superhero she's they've got batman and they've got Deadpool and they've got Chewbacca and they've got Batman in the front there and, and one of the Turtles and Captain America and the TARDIS. So yeah, I thought, why not? Let's let's try superhero stuff. Let's see what their hero box is. It's about 30 quid, uh, not including postage. So yeah, it, it could be cool, it could be not. This is the Superman box because as everybody knows, I'm a big, big fan of Superman. Uh, but it says there, look, this package, and I'll show it uh, very closely there. This package contains extremely awesome materials, open with pure excitement. Uh, and there it's got the superherostuff.com place, an 866 subhero. Subhero. Um, so I thought I'd give it, a, give it a whirl, see what it is. So let's open it up. And have a look at the delights all oh, there inside. And look, they've already got my favourite stuff. They've got bubble wrap. Well worth the price already. Does this stuff pop? I'm sure it does. No, well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's bubble wrap. That's not really interesting. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've got another layer of bubble wrap. That's how important this stuff is to them. So two layers of bloody bubble wrap. So... First things first, let's have a look. So we've got a Superman water bottle, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, take it out of his plastic packaging there. That's something I could actually use for work or something I could use while out and about and stuff, a water bottle. That's not actually a bad thing to have. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That's quite cool. It uh, comes with a twisty cap and quite a wide uh, opening for the bottle. Yeah, that's not bad. That's okay. And it looks like Superman's sort of uniform. That's that's quite nice, actually. I, I'll, I'll take that. It's not a bad little item. It seems pretty sturdy. It's proper DC Comics merchandise. So, yeah, I'll take that. That's not bad at all. We'll move on. I can see... What's this now? It's, uh, socks. Because what I need... Set the camera right. What I need is a pair of socks. I've not got enough socks in my life. Let's have a look. Again, it's, they're all in plastic packaging, which is it bodes well because it means they are at least taking care of this crap. They're not just slinging it in willy nilly. Um, not that willy nilly needs doing anything to it, but there we go. Oh, right, okay, I see. They've got a little cape on them. Let's get them out of this. I hate this. Oh, we bloody crap on them. There we go. Oh, they're quite nice, actually. Let's get far enough away. They're quite nice. That's not bad at all. It's got quite a nice... Oh, again, it's, it's like his uniform, I see. So it's like his uniform. And then the back, you get a little cape. <laughs> That's kind of lame, yet also awesome at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm quite liking them, actually. They're okay. They're not bad at all. Some little Superman cape socks there. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. What else have we got? We have a tiny little Superman. Uh, that is from the... I think I already know what this is from. This, this is from the plush toy. They did bring out... Ah, the little mates. There we go. Look. They did bring out a little while ago some uh, little plastic sort of uh, hero squad type things uh, but for DC called Little Mates they never really caught on that well which is a shame 
but um, they did bring out some little plushy toys as well. Uh, they did various DC characters, including Harley Quinn, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, that kind of thing. Uh, the facial recognition is actually picking up soups on this one, so <laughs> that's quite cool. But that's a cool little character. And for once, he's not in the dark blue uniform. He's in the light blue sort of Christopher Reeve uh, era Superman. And he's got the little Superman symbol on the back as well, which I really like. That's quite a nice plushy toy. I'm quite enamoured with that. That is really cool. That will look good on my desk with all my other crap that I own. That's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, I can already see that the next item is a bit t-shirty. And yes, it, indeed, it is a Superman t-shirt. Let's get that out of the package. Let me do that off camera there. It's a bit easier. There's so much plastic involved in this. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's quite a nifty little Superman shirt and it's it's nothing amazingly special it's just a Superman shirt with the uh, S shield on there of course it's a Kryptonian symbol that means hope and not an S never was meant to be an S uh-huh uh, but yeah I'm quite liking that that's pretty cool it's official DC again uh, which is a 2XL because I'm a bit of a porker so yeah there we go nice t-shirt liking that will wear that uh, in the near future what else has we got Oh, we've got a couple of things here. Let's have a look. So we've got a Superman uh, eraser. It's a DC Comics eraser there. Okay, and I'll take that out in a second. It's a nice little, nice enough little package. I am very impressed with the way that all this is actually properly, um, properly uh, packaged away and things. It's not just done crappily. Excuse me about this. I am just undoing the old thing. There we go. So check it out. So yeah, it's a little eraser. It's a little a pen topper, really, I suppose. But it uh, is a Superman one, and it's pretty nice. And again, setting off the facial recognition like crazy. But that's actually quite nice. It's uh, like I say, a little Superman eraser. Nothing too great, but it's you know, it's quite nice. It can sit on a desk and look pretty cool. Quite liking that. Now this thing is a big old heavy thing. It's a Superman keyring. That's a bloody big one as well. That is a massive keyring, is that? I'm liking the art on it though. And again, it's official. Let's take it out. Ooh, blimey, can you hear that jangle? Oh, bloody twist ties on the back. Let me take this off. If I can. I'm not good with twist ties. I never work them properly. There we go. Did that time now. I've got some crap in it. Hang on, get rid of it. Uh, and it's the proper S shield, not the one that they did for Man of Steel. Not that I dislike the one for Man of Steel, but that, to me, that this is the proper S shield. This is the one that you want, and that is a big old heavy thing, is that? And it's got a little tiny S shield in it. It's all like a babushka doll. Uh, <laughs> but that'll, that'll look good on my, uh, my keys. I'm quite happy with that. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. That's a good quality product as well. That's pretty cool. What else have we got? I think we're coming to the end of the box now. So we've got a little bit of stuff in there. We have a window decal. Uh, it's the sort of thing, uh, as you see, you put in, oops, you put in cars at the back of them and say, look, we have children, or we have stormtroopers, and, and so on and so forth. And this is, it. it's a white one. You can actually, you can see that it is, there we go. You can actually see if I put it up to the camera that it has been cut out and that if you do take the sticker off, it will show up on a black background. So I may have to put that on something. I'm not entirely sure what, uh, but that should be cool. Let's have a look. Collect them all so you can get a Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman and Superman. So you can build your own family. Well, that's how generally how it works. Um, looks great on notebooks and binders. Check out our website for more fun characters. So I'm guessing they do that. Uh, stickers won't apply at less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it's freezing, it probably won't. Uh, and there's a company called Elephant Gun, apparently. Elephantgun.com, if anybody wants to have a look at that. That's a strange name for a company. That is a bit of a weird name for a company. What have we got? we got a... Box Superman edition. Oh, it just tells you a little thing there to tell you exactly what you're getting in there. So drink, wear, sticker, that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, coupon there, which you guys aren't going to see. Um, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Missing pair of shorts. If found, please call Cal. I'm guessing that's a reference to the fact that he doesn't wear the red shorts anymore in his new 52 guys. If you need proof of that, there he is without the shorts. So that's a little reference to that, I think. Uh, but it is a, it's a fridge sticker, or fridge uh, magnet, sorry, should I say, not a sticker, fridge magnet. Uh, you also get a 
copy uh, virtual reality issue uh, of Dead Again, Superman by Jurgens and Giordano, uh, which is one from the 90s, I believe. Uh, it certainly looks sort of 90s s, but it's a nice enough copy of a Superman comic, which uh, I don't own many of. I, I own quite a few of them on digital copies, but I don't own that many in paper, so it's nice to have one there. Uh, it's issue 96, which was January 95. Of course it was. Like I said, it's the 90s virtual reality bite. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's after the death of Superman, so I'll have to have a read of that. Uh, and very, very finally there, in the bottom of the box, you will find a couple of buttons or badges as we call them in the in the UK there so you've got one that's uh, the Superman S shield and then a nice little one there with the sort of modern age Superman saying this is a job for Superman um, which it always is because uh, Superman's awesome um, but there there you go that's your uh, that's your that's your lot that's, that's what you get in the box and to be fair that's not a bad little haul uh, for 30 quid, I don't think. I said, yeah, 30 quid unposted. So obviously you have to pay postage as well. But that's not bad. That'll do for, for that price. Uh, you can't really complain what you're getting there. It's, you know, um, it's it's not the, the most amount you will ever get in a box of these kind of things. But, I, you know, for a Superman fan like myself, I'm quite happy with that. I will take that. Uh, and I will say thank you very much there, superhero stuff. Thank you very much for your boxo stuff. Um, certainly better than most of the crap you get in the Loot Crate ones. I don't rate Loot Crate at all. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people do and a lot of people find it funny. But when you get things such as the fucking inflatable fucking crown that uh, the Ashen's got the other, the other week, then I'm sorry. I can't subscribe to your newsletter i think that's a bit rubbish uh, all in all but uh, this wasn't too bad at all that's a nice like i say nice little haul if you're a superman fan like myself so i i think i may get more of these um there's a few of them there's batman there's green lantern there's a wonder woman one there's marvel ones there's an avengers one very yeah very sort of broad uh, church of things that you can buy so it may be that I do have to buy one I think there's a Ghostbusters one I might be interested in as well so um, yes I'm going to keep buying these I think um, so I will be back next month with one of these um, I shall also be back another time with a, a normal review of something so look out for that uh, until then take care of yourselves and each other bye bye for now